Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Ian bringing you another AI video with the new Boston. So if you have been following along with our previous videos and you've tried to run your code and you've experienced an error like the one that we're looking at here, where it says attribute error module open AI has no attribute chat completion, then this video is going to show you how to fix that. So the issue, the reason why we're getting this error is because previously we were using an older version of the open AI library. These things are changing very quickly. It's getting upgraded really fast. And so now the newer version has some breaking changes. So with those breaking changes, you wouldn't be able to run some of these syntax from our previous videos. The solution in the short term would just be to use the version that we used whenever we recorded the video. And that would be like 0.28 or something like that. However, you want to use the latest and greatest. So I'm going to show you how to migrate your code to use the newer version of the library and its syntax. All right. So basically the first thing you want to do is upgrade. Now you probably already upgraded if you're, you know, whether or not you know it, you may have installed the newest version, but if you are using an older version and you see that inside of your virtual environment that you have like 0 0.28 or something like that, or 0 0.27.9, then what you can do is an easy pip uninstall open AI. Make sure that your virtual environment is activated. You want to uninstall this from your local virtual environment for this project. So we'll go ahead and run that command. And when it's done running, it's going to actually prompt us here whether or not we want to do it. At least it does this on Windows. So I say Y for yes, and it finishes. All right, so you can see that I had the latest version, at least at the time of this recording, 1.1.2. Uh, yours may be a different version. Now let's get the latest version. So once you've uninstalled it, all you have to do is pip install OpenAI, and this will give you the current version. So it may be 1.1.2, or who knows, they may have updated it again by the time we get this video released. All right, so with this version 1.1.2, there are some changes to the syntax. So if you were to run your code, you would get the error that we showed at the uh, beginning of the video. All right, so I'm going to go back to the very first tutorial, 01 basic main.py, we import OS, we import OpenAI. So what we're going to do now is we actually don't have to import the OS. Uh, you can if you want to put something in other than OpenAI API key, but that's what it's going to look for by default. So as long as you export your environment variable for your API key with this name, then you won't need to use OS here. So with that said, what we can do is we can say something like from OpenAI import, and then I think it's OpenAI like this with a capital O and then a capital AI. And then what we do here on the next line is we say something like client is equal to, and then we can say open AI, open close parentheses. And so this will create a new open AI client for us from this open AI class. And then we can use this client for all of our requests. However, the syntax has changed slightly. So let's go down and modify that as well. So if we go down here, we can see where we have open AI and we no longer have that variable. So I'm getting some red underscores here. Uh, letting me know hey you know this is not a valid variable so i'm going to change it to client so that'll fix that problem and now we no longer have dot chat completion capital c and chat capital c and completion what we have is dot lowercase chat dot and then i think it's completions plural so let me get rid of the old great so it's client dot chat dot completions all lowercase is going to replace the open ai dot capital c chat capital C completion dot create. So all we end up with is client dot chat dot completions dot create. Everything else stays the same. Okay. So now when we run this, we should be able to print the response. I'm not going to print this part of the response. I'm really most interested in the content down here just so that we know that this is working. So let's go ahead and run this Python main.py. Of course, your virtual environment is activated. You're inside of the open AI examples. In fact, I'm inside the wrong folder. So let me go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to CD into 01 basic, and then I'm going to run main.py here. So this will take a second, and we should get some text back here in a moment. The NHL team that plays in Pittsburgh is the Pittsburgh Penguins. So that's it for upgrading. You're just going to uninstall OpenAI with your virtual environment activated. You're going to reinstall it using pip, and then you're going to update that syntax like we just did. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.